Hey bitches, today we are reacting to Who Sang Respect by uh, obviously one and the only legendary Aretha Franklin. Who Sang the High Note Challenge the best, so we're gonna get right into it. It's a longer video, we're gonna maybe skip some of them, we don't know. And this is the original, so let's hear it. She looks great, look at the hair. That song is absolutely great. Like, it's one of the greatest hits. I love it. Let's get into it. This is Jennifer Hudson, obviously. She can deliver it. She look good. I'm surprised that she didn't her voice next to the mic more she probably did something like we couldn't see like ah and then you couldn't hear it fully so yeah i just don't find her voice that pleasing let's continue she definitely learned a bit from patty i feel no that is crazy that was very good though that was very good who next? Oh! Let's go, Katrina! It's a bit more funky almost. Again, okay. That melisma is crazy, girl. It really is. It, 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 lovely. More true to the song, Jennifer, sure. Okay, Miss Kelly. Sing it, white girl. I'm white. I can. Was that off key? Yeah, it was. Uh, but she was very young. This is from 2002, I think it said right here. Still, when she was competing with American Idol, so it's not gonna be flawless, probably. That was actually decent though. Okay. I think she would tear the song today though. All of this is fine. <laughs> she looks beautiful. She didn't really age much. Ever since she lost weight, she looks almost as young as she does today. It's crazy. Okay, Yolanda. I like it. Sunny in my again. Get it, get it. <laughs> she looked good though, she looked also good, like let's say that. The hair, the gown. Oh, Shaka Khan. If she's not booze, I would lick her. Even if she is though. You better get it. Her song is almost like auto-tuned itself at times. It's crazy. Her... yeah. yeah. 
And I, I don't know if she can still sing today, but I've heard her somewhat in the last, I don't know how many years, and she still could go up there like nothing. I would not be surprised if even today she can sing really, really well. I love her. Okay, Rita Ora. Come on, growl, rasp. It's a different version, and it works really well for her style, for her voice. She's somewhat underrated. Thank you so much. It was really good. I really liked this. It was more relaxing almost, but it was really, really good. Okay, Natalia, whoever. She's giving me 70s vibes. Okay, it's fine. Let's go with... Okay, next. No. <laughs> she looked great. Look at her hair. I don't like this version is what I'm saying. She sings well. And appropriate for this genre. Okay, we're switching it up to like disco wish. I mean, listen, get it. Oh, come on, Merced. Come on, belt. Get it. She has a soul. She really does. Get it. Get a head voice. <laughs> She's she really nailed it. Like she really nailed it. Okay, Amber, come on. You're the last one. <laughs> Suck it to me. Okay. You better get it, Amber. She may be the best in terms of being the most true to the song and audible and everything. Morissette is possibly my favorite and Amber and, Ry and, and Rita Ora. I think those three are my favorite. So how did you guys feel? Who did you like the most? It's very, it would be exciting for you to tell me who do you think did the best for you. So thank you for being here and this was a really good showcase for all of these ladies. So let's see you in the next video, whatever that is. Okay, be there. Thank you. Bye.